Hello YouTube. Got an unboxing for you. Just got home from work, literally like like 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, and uh, finally, the one of the packages I've been waiting for for a long time has finally arrived from uh, Kamen Rider Nimoy. Um, this is the rest, or should be the rest of uh, my uh, armor for my Beat Buster and Abari Black cosplay. So, without any further ado, want me to open it? Should I? Really? Should I? Should I? Should I? Okay. You don't gotta convince me anymore. Alright. Once again, all the stamps from Nimoy. I think that's like his MO, that's like his calling card now. Uh, walk in the door and I see a big box with a bunch of stamps on it, I know exactly who it's from nowadays. Uh, I have to be careful opening this, as like I do with a lot of the stuff. I want to make sure I'm not stabbing or cutting any of the items on the inside. Fragile handle with care. Oh man, I am tired. <laughs> Come on, Ooh, cut the box, not your hand. Alright, All right, box is open. Okay, oh ho 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 ho. Wow, alright. This box is stuffed, people. I mean, it is stuffed. <laughs> okay, I don't even know how to start with all this here. Okie dokie, I guess. Ugh. Roll the sleeves up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with right here on the top. Looks like my brother Ravage's Red Buster belt and buckle. And... <laughs> You're going to like this. That is perfect. 100% accurate. And it looks like he made it adjustable. With a clip. <laughs> that looks like it'll fit my brother's waist. He's skinny. You've seen him. All right. A lot better quality buckle. Better than the last quality, anyway. So, that's numero uno item we got in here. I'm not going to need my knife anymore. I'm just going to put that away. All right, now we have my Beat Buster belt. Again, awesome. Very, very awesome. And once again, it clips. However... I hope this is adjustable, because it looks like he made this only a slight bigger than my brother's. And my waist is not just a slight bigger than my brother's. It's like by a few inches. But, as long as I can work with that, if I can find a way to adjust this or extend it, it'll fit me fine. Other than that, the obviously the quality is top notch. It is perfect. All right. Okay. Now we have. Go ahead and do my Abari Black gloves and hand and wrist armor. Which here's one of the gloves. It's all connected. This is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. It's connected. I don't got to piece things together. A little bit of a thread here. I'm going to have to burn or cut that off. Tiny little zip here. Unzip. Now, let's see if this fits. Okay. It's snug for sure, but... Oh, the material's stiff. 
it is very stiff. But, hear that? Hard, hard plastic, PVC, that's what I'm talking about. Very, very stiff gloves. I'm gonna have to work these out. But, they're Abari Black gloves. They're perfect. Awesome sauce. Awesome sausage. Right. So, that, where's the other one? Aha, I found it. Alright, here's the other hand, the left hand. I won't bother putting that on. I'm sure if the right hand fits, the left hand fits. Alright. Those have to be worked out quite a bit. They really do. Alright, now we're going to move on to the rest of what's in here, which is going to be the rest of the armor pieces for my Beat Buster cosplay. Ooh, look, we've got a, uh, a boot armor piece. Okay. Alrighty. One boot armor piece. Another boot armor piece. Now, don't worry. Once I get all this unboxed, and I, I get the rest of my stuff out, and I start putting it all together, obviously I'll do another video. I'll do a complete video of the Beat Buster and Abari Black cos cosplay costumes. Um, and obviously, they'll probably be the last videos you see of those um, until Comic-Con, because uh, as of right now, it's com they're complete, so there would be no need in any further updates for those uh, cosplay costumes. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Alright, we're going to move on to... Looks like we got the wrist guards. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. And they have tiny little buckles. Are you kidding me? Was that, I don't think that was necessary. Nor do I think it's really accurate. But... As long as it fits, which they do, I might have to find a way to keep them from sliding around uh, in the, on the actual costume, but awesome, that's what I'm talking about. The buckles actually might make them easier to get on and off, I really, I really do think so. That's awesome. Okay. Easier to get on than off, I'm thinking. <laughs> Alright. The wrist cuffs. Alrighty. Now. <laughs> the bottom part of the boot covers here. It looks like this is, uh, this is both of them. They're just stuck together here. Uh... <laughs> How did you do this here? Okay. I don't know. Alright. That's cool. Ah. Oh, man. Kidding? Alright, there we go. Alright, they're off. And obviously these will go over the boots. And there's quite a bit of... <laughs> threads and stuff. I'm thinking he... Must have accidentally got that wrapped in there. But, look at that moves the way it's supposed to. That's really impressive, Nimoy. Really, really impressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. That's what I'm talking about, Nimoy. All right. Uh, we've got a couple things left in here, though, but we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the boot armor out. Okay, we have... These are the tops of the boots, obviously. Everything sh looks like it connects here and here from these three prongs here. So they just easily slide in and connect. So that's, that's easy. That's, that's, that's real easy. I'm, I'm glad about that. I'm very, very happy about that. All right. And we have the other one. It's pretty much the same. Ha! Ah. Alright, now we have 
the leg armor. All right. Now, they look big enough to fit my legs. That's a good thing, because I got some pretty beefy thighs. Um, they look good. Look really good. That is as accurate as you're going to get, buddy. Listen to that. Hard plastic. That's what I'm talking about, people. Not just padded fabrics. You need hard plastic. Maybe a little bit of glue residue right here. I wonder, hopefully, that washes off. I don't know if you can see that right there on the camera, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of, uh, I think that's what, I think that's glue residue. But I still, I'm not going to complain too much. And then here, now we have, uh, the other one. The second leg armor, which looks like the... Right leg, I think. Oh well. No glue residue on this leg, thankfully. But still good. Alrighty. Now, on to the last thing in this box. Yes, the last thing in this box. The shoulder armor, which I can already kind of tell. I think the tint, the metallic tint on this, should be a little darker. But I'm not going to complain. It's, 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 from what I'm seeing here, it still looks fine. <sighs> Booyakasha. Check that out. That, there is the shoulder armor for my Beat Buster. I was highly disappointed in the, in the shoulder armor um, that I made uh, for myself, for my Go Buster outfit for myself. Just, it, it looked okay for a short time, but I... My, my conscience got the better of me eventually. I just couldn't let that fly. It was just so horribly inaccurate. The color, um, the shape, the way, it, the way it sat on my shoulders, I didn't like it. This, however, looks absolutely perfect. And then from the back, and once again, hard plastic. Hard plastic, rubber, PVC. Looks like there's some latex on the inside that he used for padding. Awesome, awesome, awesome work. Now, it's going to probably take me a couple of days to get all this put together and uh, wear the suit a few times, get it broken broken in a little bit so I can wear all this stuff out. Well, not wear it out, wear it in. Let's, let's put it that way. I don't want to wear none of this stuff out, not after paying as much as I did for it. But, um, like I said, uh, here at uh, Rangers Ready Go, our cosplay um, is good, but it's not... Not this good, at least not yet. I'm hoping one day we can get our workshop up and going to where we can uh, have a proper, proper uh, cosplay workshop um, to make anything and everything we need for cosplay. Um, so, uh, that's great. This looks great. And yeah, out of all of this I got to complete my two cosplays, um, my brother just needed the belt, his belt here. And these are, these are heavy belts. These are heavy, heavy, heavy duty. Thick leather. I mean, look how look how thick that is. Wow, very nicely done. Once again, shout out to Cayman Rider Custom Mask or Cayman Rider Nimoy for making all of these beautiful items for me, um, which I have been waiting pay very patiently for, and I'm so glad that they're finally here. I have to make sure I re I remember to send Nimoy a message through Facebook and thanking him for his his very very dedicated skill and service. Um, so, that's my unboxing of all this stuff. Uh, here soon, you'll see a video, probably the very next video I upload, it'll probably be here in just a few days, um, of my complete, uh, Beat Buster and Abari Black cosplay costumes. So until then, guys, <laughs> another empty box, another one down. I just, I just realized that i got to throw this box away, among with probably... 30 other boxes I have in the garage that I've got to cut down, break down, and throw away. So, uh, I just remembered I had to do that. Anyway, until next time, guys. Rangers, ready, go.